So I finally got around to getting outside with Elizabeth to work on my snowshoeing. I brought along three of the dogs. Might release more on the way. So over here, these tracks that you can see in the snow, that's where a moose walked through. Right through here, skirted right along the edge of the brush there and around the truck and down to the driveway. So they've pretty much skirted the whole property. So my general idea was I'll get out to the moose trail and break that down and skirt around the property. So the trick is packing the snow down enough ooh, that I don't sink in it. So even with snowshoes, you can sink pretty deep pretty quick. And uh, I'm not tipping over the sled with Elizabeth in the meantime. I think the temperature is somewhere in the 20s. Floor, get out of the way. So it feels decently warm, but it's not really warm. So, since there's fresh snow and would sink pretty deep, what I had to do is step out in front of myself and kind of pack a trail. I'm packing it a little extra wide so that I can pull the sled. The nice thing is once the trail is packed, one of the dogs went through here, that's why there's already a bit of a trail in the snow. Once the trail is already packed, I won't have to keep doing this, and then I can just walk on it. But, let's see if I can do this without falling. See, if I just step off into the snow, I sink. So, that's almost knee deep. So, that's why I have to kind of pack it down in front of myself. See how deep the snow is with my snowshoeing pole. It's it's pretty deep. The snow is packed down quite a bit actually. It was probably over three feet deep out here. But uh, let's pack down to probably two and a half. Good girl, Creon. So now I'll go back over what I've already walked and packed. And so now I can walk more like normally. There we go. Good girl, Creon. You watching over Elizabeth? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the trickier things for me is turning around. You can't just spin around in place. You have to lift your feet or else they have a tendency to get tangled up and trip you. And uh, getting up out of two and a half foot deep powdery snow is no joke, especially for me. Go on, 
Cleon. You can do it. <laughs> All right, come on back. Come on, girls. Come on, Coco. Good job, Coco. Come on, Cleon. Come on. Come on, girl. Good girl, Cleon. <laughs> yeah, you girls are figuring out this snow thing too, aren't you? Easy there, and don't knock her over. Good girls. Well, you got your exercise? <laughs> so I might have lost my mind, but I've got all the dogs loose except Percy. He has a way of just uh, deciding he wants to go on a hike all by himself. Cleon thinks she's got herself stuck in a snowbank. But the other dogs have gone in and out enough now that she can easily get out. She just hasn't figured that out yet. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Hi, honey. What'd you think? <laughs> you think it's fun? I think so, too. So I'm going to try to snowshoe around the property. I doubt I'll get all the way around it today. There's still a lot of unbroken trail but uh dogs are having a great time Woo! did they get you in the face with snow there you go so i'm still out here working on my snowshoe trail come quite a ways since i started Started over there by the little doghouse you can see just behind the shed. Worked around past the, the foam board and kind of wiggled a trail all the this way. A little out of breath. <laughs> Have most of the dogs loose, all but one. In fact, he uh, kept trying to hike off by himself and not listening, so he had to be put back. And I am keeping a close eye on the moose over there. He's a little hard to see. He's just right where my finger is pointing. That dark spot. He's a good ways away though. <sighs> hey girls. I think the dogs have finally kind of worn themselves out a bit. All right Coco, move. I'm starting to get pretty tired too. Snowshoeing is very, very good exercise. This pregnant mama starting to get a little worn out. Especially since I just came through a particularly deep, fluffy patch. Real fluffy snow may be fun for some things, but uh, makes it much more difficult to snowshoe. Hey, Chief. Can I go break the trail for me? Go on. Not that way. You lazy rascal. <laughs> you can see the moose tracks through here. They walk through here sometimes. They will probably enjoy the new trail that I'm making for them. Because of the moose, I try to make sure that I have little side trails, like right there, right about there, where is it? there, right there, where it goes across over to where the dogs are, so that if I do meet a moose on my trail, I have a way to get back to the main yard without turning around and hiking all the way back down the trail with the moose behind me. Discovered a time-saving way to break trail. How the two German Shepherds do it. That is exactly where I wanted to go. Good dogs. Good pups. Here, Chief. Here, lady. <laughs> like we're taking the easy way this time. Come on.
on, you guys. Here. Come on. Way to go, Flora. Nothing like taking the hard way. Good girl. Come on, Chief. Come on. You already broke the trail. Come on, big boy. Good job. Good dogs. All right, go. Not that way. Chief, this way. <laughs> it's like, I already did that once. It was tiring. I'm done. Well, at least I have some trail broken. Of course, I'll still sink because they're lighter than I am. But it's easier than having to start fresh. It is a beautiful February day. And I'm going to take the opportunity to snowshoe around on the trails that I've made and bring you along for the visit, for the trip. Got five of the dogs loose. They'll come with me. And we're going to have a good time. All right, come on, pups. Let's go. There are various little side trails, but I'm just going to take the main one. past the outhouse here. Come on. As you can see, I'm not very far from the house. Of course, our property isn't very big. So, I'm just kind of skirting around the edge of the yard. Here, pups. Come on. <laughs> wow. Come on, guys. Off. Here, Flora. Here, go. Let's go. Come on, Coco. Come on, Chief. I haven't been down this trail in a while. I've got over a foot of snow since the last time I went down it. So. It's a little deep. Skirt the wood pile. the wood shed. Come on, Chief. Come on. I could go around that way, but I'm going to go this way instead. Here, let's go. Good girl, Flora. She's my best trail breaker. Here, pups. Come on. This way. Here, Flora. Go. Good girl. Come on, lady. Go on. Ooh. That was a deep spot. Must have gotten off my trail.
And there we go. Back at the outhouse. Took almost six minutes. Of course, I had to re-break part of that trail. So that's my little workout routine. It's a fun little program. And I'm very thankful for the opportunity to live in a place where I can learn how to snowshoe.